evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore and Teddy Atlas welcoming you to a sold-out boardwalk. When you get a fight like this that everybody's been talking about, it's always so interesting to see these opening moments here in round number one. How is this strategy of employing the jab time and time again going to pay off for him? Well, it's going to be kind of like, you know, when you put your kids to sleep, you know? You get a little peace and quiet. <laughs> He's going to be left alone. He's not going to be bothered. He's not going to have a headache if he uses his jab. Sound defense. Good block that time by Manny Pacquiao. That left hand over the top. He's accurate with it. Manny Pacquiao's known as a guy who isn't going to be bashful early on. He has power, and he's not afraid to showcase it. Yeah, but that's not all that this business is about. My mentor, Customato, used to say, hey, you know, power is just part of it. It's kind of like having a military weapon. You know, you still need a missile to get it there. Alone, all it does is make a hole in the ground. Otherwise, it has no real use. You have to have a way to get it to the target. Let's see if he has that weight. He just missed that shot up top. <laughs> nice strike after catching one by Kid Dynamite. He's working the jab. Good. Accurate with a straight left. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. Here's one for you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Pacquiao's showing off a real boxing IQ in that last round. Just fighting smart. I mean, not just reckless aggression, but smart, accurate punching. And talking about IQs, it's being led by that left jab, an educated left jab, a jab that talks a little bit, talks a couple languages. I mean, he's hooking off it, he's uppercutting off it, he's doubling up on it. Good job. Carries that punch intended for the head. I think a lot of people question Manny Pacquiao when he went to the welterweight division. Then he fights Miguel Cotto, and Cotto, who was always considered a big guy as a junior welterweight and a welterweight, a guy who just had a sturdiness and a thickness to him. Pacquiao TKO'd him. Pacquiao felt like he was, it felt like Pacquiao was the stronger guy. Well, he may have been the stronger guy. He was definitely the faster guy, and he was the better guy. Technically, he was better. He had more options. He could do more things. And when you're in that ring, and you can do more than just come in that front door, you can come in the side door, you can attack in different ways. Well, in reality, Joe, that's his strength. And he was stronger. A knifing left hand by Kid Dynamite. A solid, true uppercut by Kid Dynamite. Scores up top with a left. Ooh. Oh, good defense Ooh. there. That was a fine block by Manny Pacquiao. You see, he comes over the top with that right hand. A real solid shot. Manny Pacquiao's rocked by a huge hook to the head. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. This round comes to an end. And Teddy, easy to note here that he wasn't landing a lot of punches. Now he was throwing them up, but he wasn't landing a lot. Is that because of his opponent's defense, or is he just not that accurate of a puncher? No, it's a combination. First of all, his opponent's pretty slick in there. Pretty good at bobbing, weaving a little bit, slipping a little bit, making himself a difficult target, but his punch is a little wide. Needs to shorten him up. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Kid Dynamite. I right, shake it off. <laughs> Keep your 
Edwards. Manny able to block that. I like what I see out of Manny Pacquiao right now. This is it right here. This is the way he should be defensively. You see the Pac-Man. He's got that nice, tight defense. He's not letting anybody get inside there. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Hello. Manny Pacquiao able to land a huge uppercut. He missed with that headshot. Blocks the headshot. Pacquiao's in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Oh, good exchange there. And a nice combo by Kid Dynamite. Ten seconds remaining in this round. Oh, you got this one. Don't stand to him. Manny Pacquiao is off to a really good start tonight. This is the first time we look at Teddy's scorecard, and you can see that he has it a clean sweep through three rounds. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Manny Pacquiao. Teddy, I've heard you say it many times before, but the better fighters have a wide array of punches. Yeah, well, you have to because obviously your opponent is going to adjust to what you're doing. You want to keep them off balance. Stay effective. You're doing great. Blocking that punch. Very good defense by Manny Pacquiao. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Right hand comes in by Kid Dynamite. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Up top with the right hand. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Decide to bring it. That's a good block by Kid Dynamite. Oh, this is a wipeout. You're winning this fight. Round number five has arrived. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, He's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. Hey, 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 let's go! That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Two snapping jabs by Kid Dynamite. Pulls the trigger right away with the left hand after getting tagged himself. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. Minute and a half to go. Sending out the power shot, it was a straight left hand. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Keep your head moving. 
10 seconds of this fifth round. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Kid Dynamite. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them, 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. You're not focusing. Nice defense. Good block by Manny Pacquiao. Pacquiao's defense is playing a prominent role in this fight, Teddy. Yes, it is. And specifically what it is is he has good fundamentals. He keeps those hands up real good, you know. They're attached. They're up around his chin. His elbow's in. You know, he has a real shell there that's not easy to penetrate. Reaching the halfway point of round number six. Nothing there on the punch by Kid Dynamite. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Could this be the start of a big comeback? He went from owning this fight to now nearly down and out. You know, that's what makes boxing so great. Yeah, you can come back just like that. One punch at the right time. That was at the right time. You can tell now that Pacquiao's foundation survived that earthquake. Yeah, now you're going to find out whether the upper floors have been scattered a little bit, whether they're okay. Does he continue to be aggressive like he's been early? Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. A well-placed left hand up top. Good job on the two-punch combo by Manny Pacquiao. That was another great round by him. I mean, what more can you say? He's landing the cleaner punches. He's being the boss. He's doing the job. He's about to become the winner. How about that exchange? Manny Pacquiao is making me real curious here, Teddy. I wonder, should he be sticking with this style after being rocked in this fight? It's still early enough. I would say yes. You know, you don't want to panic. You don't want to just throw everything overboard. You want to stay with what brought you here. Hey, he's been taught this not for hours, not for days, not for weeks. You know, months and years he's been taught this. You don't throw it out. You stay with it. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Not much action as he just ties up. Pace yourself. Kid Dynamite's got to be asking himself, at least Choose Corner's got to be asking, can this go on like this? Can we continue to work at this work rate, throwing this many punches, and be this ineffective? Joe, so if he was a painter, he definitely wouldn't be Rembrandt because... You know, they're not clean strokes. They're not strokes that, moving, you know, you look at them and they're paying off for them. I mean, he's more like doing finger paints. I mean, he's just throwing stuff at that canvas. And it's not looking real pretty right now. Nice work. A well-targeted jab that time. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut? Look at that. Great work there. Scored upon by a left hand. Solid. Oh, this is going to be close. He may be able to survive the round, but he has gone down now. signifying the end of the round. You know, neither man's been pushed too hard so far, but one man has taken advantage of it. A commanding lead on your scorecard, Teddy, as we start round number eight. Yeah, he hasn't been forced into a fast pace, so he's just taken what's been given to him. There's been a lot of picking there, the fruit at the top of the tree, and he's picked it. Wow, a big flush blow, the left hand by Manny Pacquiao. 
dismisses his opponent's headshot. Kid Dynamite sticking to his game plan regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, the one threat you could compliment him for it, Joe, you could say he, he understands who he is, he understands his identity, he's going to win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. Kid Dynamite's rocked by that punch. He is stunned, but somehow manages to have the wherewithal to hold on. Kid Dynamite's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Hey, I thought he was going to be knocked out just moments ago, but he has survived this. Well, he has a granite chin. a shot but he gives one of his own a left hand scores he missed by a mile that wasn't even close by Manny Pacquiao Pacquiao showing us a great display of one of the best elements of defense Teddy and that is your ability to make your man miss by moving your head and now what his opponent has to do is he has to understand hopefully he's been taught this that yeah the head moves but the body doesn't the body is stationary right in front of you right now his opponent should not be going to that head he should be going downstairs not able to land the head shot Stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Kid Dynamite. How about a return to center with the left hand? was not well targeted by Kid Dynamite. Gets rid of that body shot. Eddie, you know what I'm so impressed by? Obviously, the pace of this fight is just ridiculous. But how hungry these guys are how badly each guy wants it. So this is the kind of fight that it has nothing to do about money. It has everything to do about legacy. How they're gonna be remembered. Really wanted that uppercut, but just couldn't get it. So the nose of Pacquiao obviously damaged there. You can see it's bleeding. A little head hunting with the right. Keep working the body. Rash is home with the uppercut. And this round comes to an end. Now that he's back in the corner, we get a close-up look. Pacquiao's cut even looks worse. And it's up to the fighter now, Joe, for his attitude not to change. You know, we can look at it and we can say, wow, that cut looks worse. The fans can look at it and say that. But the fighter must be steady. The same attitude as though he doesn't have a cut. Otherwise, he has no chance of winning this fight. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Pacquiao's got a real problem on his hands now, Teddy. I think the cut is actually worsening around his eye. He has to do a better job of watching out for that. He has to protect that eye. Yeah, and what he has to do now is give his corner man, his cut man, a chance for his work to be accomplished. In other words, there's been coagulants, chemicals put into that eye. Now the fighter has to move a little bit, be elusive, 
and allow those chemicals, those medicines to work. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. You're not going to take. If you that keeps this. up, this, this is going to be a good night. The right hand scored by Kid Dynamite. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Kid Dynamite. Hands up, hands up. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with this counter punching. Able to cover up that gut. Couldn't hit the elusive target with that straight right. And that's the end of round 10. Let me put forth a word that I think is very important right now as I look at your scorecard and we're starting round number 11. Hit Dynamite's down, significantly down on your scorecards. Urgency. Yeah, right now, you know what I'm saying to him in the corner? We're going into a time machine. I got a time machine here. And I'm gonna allow you to go into tomorrow. Go forward to tomorrow. How do you wanna feel tomorrow? It's right there. How do you wanna feel? Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. <laughs> to the head he goes with a left hand. Kid Dynamite's just punching air that time. His opponent was in. He is not in good shape. He could be on. Oh, that's got to hurt. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. Pacquiao's power just much too much for his opponent. Another knockout for him. A showcase of power punching by Manny Pacquiao. This fight is now over. And thankfully it is because he's taken too much and you got to wonder about the repercussions down the road.